crime in Sacramento is down almost 19% from last year. That's according to new data released today by the police department. KCRE 3's Brittany Hope joins us live with the details with what police have been working on and how they hope to continue this trend. Brittany. Yeah, absolutely. And just minutes ago, we wrapped up a press conference. Everyone inside City Hall said that this is a huge win. They said it last night in City Council and they said it here inside City Chambers just moments ago. And perspective is key. So looking back at police data from 2019 to 2021, homicides in the city of Sacramento were up 70 percent, 70 percent. Police say that this new data out today shows new tactics to fight crime are really working. So let's show you that data. Take a look at your screen right now. These compare violent crimes so far this year compared to the same time last year. Robberies down 6%. Aggravated assault cases have gone down more than 20%. Rape cases are down more than 40%. And homicides have gone down 40% as well. Police say these improvements are significant and they're thanks to a few things. First, it's new violent crime reduction strategy that started last year, which focuses on a few main areas in the city where a disproportionate amount of crime happens. Also, support from the federal government to figure out better ways to battle gun violence and finally increased and new partnerships and funding for community based organizations. You hear collaboration between law enforcement and community based organizations. That's very real. It's very real and it's very critical. And what that looks like now because of the relationships that we've been able to build oftentimes in the past, when law enforcement encountered a youth that may be acting up, the only only option they had was to take them to juvenile hall, or if they're a little bit older, take them to jail. Today, you have law enforcement officers that will stop and call a community-based organization and say, hey, I got this youngster out here. Can you come out and help? Can you come out and intervene? And you were just hearing from the CEO from Brother to Brother, which is one of those community based organizations that's getting this funding. This partnership with them and police started last year. But now, thanks to funding that was approved by City Council last night, 14 organizations like these are getting $3.2 million in funding to continue their work. We're live just outside City Hall, Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News. So, Brittany, how long does this funding last? So this first $3.2 million is for this first year, but based on that city council vote last night, these are all Measure U funds, so it extends to more than $9 million over the next three years. Today in that press conference, I asked Mayor Steinberg what happens after those three years. He said that it's money that's allocated, so he hopes that city council continues to vote to keep funding these programs because they say the data today shows they're really working. Yeah, some very encouraging data. Pretty hope. Thank you.